This is a message to David Beckham. If you end your relationship with Qatar, I'll donate this 10 grand of my own money, that's a grand for every million you're reportedly getting, to charities that support queer people in football. However, if you do not, at midday next Sunday, I will throw this money into a shredder just before the opening ceremony of the World Cup and stream it live on a website I've registered called benderslikebeckham.com. With 45 minutes to go, I pushed the button on the countdown and as thousands tuned in, all I could do was wait. Give the money to a charity, you plank. Less than five minutes! Oh! The whole family sitting down to watch Benders Like Beckham. <laughs> the world just watched me shred ten grand. Godspeed is the first message from a friend. Someone else? <laughs> yes. It's trending number one. Qatar and David Beckham may not have wanted this whole issue talked about, but plenty of you were taking notice. Millions of people saw the video on my socials, and at one point, my website actually crashed, and lots of other people were buying it too. And whilst it was fun to hear from people like Wizarab10, who said, performative clown, lol, <laughs> after 24 hours, it was time to bring this strange chapter of my life to an end. This is my final message to David Beckham. I haven't quite told you the whole truth. Because the truth is, the money that went into the shredder was real, but the money that came out was fake. I would never destroy real money. I would never be so irresponsible. There is one thing I'll shred. This is your Attitude magazine cover from June 2002, the first ever cover of a gay magazine with a Premier League footballer on it. I asked Attitude if I could shred it, and they were more than happy to oblige. to David, giving the opportunity to reply, but he hasn't commented on any of this so far, and he's not going to break his silence for this programme. Oh, except he has. We've been sent a statement from David Beckham's spokesperson. We've been asked to read it in full, and we're happy to do so. We're excited that he's finally chosen to address this issue through our show, and I'm sure he's going to clear the whole thing up. David has been involved in a number of World Cups and other major international tournaments, both as a player and an ambassador, and he's always believed that sport has the power to be a force for good in the world. Football, the most popular sport globally, has a genuine ability to bring people together and make a real contribution to communities. We understand that there are different and strongly held views about engagement in the Middle East, but see it as positive that debate about the key issues has been stimulated directly by the first World Cup being held in the region. We hope that these conversations will lead to greater understanding and empathy towards all people and that progress will be achieved. I've been told by our lawyers I can't make any comment about that message. I want to talk about allies, in particular companies and celebrities who like to think they're our allies to our community, who are happy to slap a rainbow on when it doesn't cost them anything, but looked the other way when it came to the World Cup. What I say is that we need allies, but allies we can rely on, not to run away the moment it looks difficult or when the first yellow card is threatened. We need everyone to be our allies, and we need them to remember that being an ally is for life, not just for Christmas specials. Break it out. Uh... Why would you do that? Strangely arousing. This is the weirdest thing that's ever happened to me. Who's Greg? Question is, don't need an answer. <laughs> Where'd the car go? Fight him, baby. How many more shows does he have to do until he's paid back the tax man? Mm. You keep turning up. You can kiss my ass, all of them. <laughs> I think that's all right. Legally, we can say that, yeah. <laughs> all the information was on the tusk. I didn't know what I was doing. <laughs> You've got the small talk guy right here. <laughs> and I think that'll do. <laughs>